everyone how are you all my dear students i hope you all are fine and doing your s1 revision properly so my dear students do you remember what we have revised in our previous lecture yes in our previous video in our previous lecture we have revised poem number 5 the land of counterpane in poem number 5 we have revised textual and fair book notes both the things right so today we will start lesson number 6 the dragon rock so today we will do reading okay so as you all know before starting our everyday session i would like to tell you one quote so let's see education is equal knowledge education is equal knowledge knowledge is equal power knowledge is equal power power is equal respect power is equal respect respect is equal happiness respect is equal happiness so education is the main thing right let's read our lesson chapter 6 the dragon rock the dragon rock so let's see reading when a valley turns dry due to severe heat something magical happens when a valley turns dry due to severe heat something magical happens read this story to find out read this story to find out the children chittered and chattered like sparrows as they frolicked in their favorite spot the children chittered and chattered like sparrows as they frolicked in their favorite spot let's see the next this is the image which is given in your textbook you can see here children are playing right let's see the next paragraph their favorite spot was a large long scaly rock that looked amazingly similar to a sleeping dragon their favorite spot was a large long scaly rock that looked amazingly similar to a sleeping dragon the children knew it was a dragon the children knew it was a dragon the grown ups knew it was a dragon the grown ups knew it was a dragon the dogs and cats and birds knew it was a dragon the dogs and cats and birds knew it was a dragon but nobody was scared because it never ever moved but nobody was scared because it never ever moved now let's read the next paragraph the boys and girls would clamber all over it the boys and girls would clamber all over it 
walking sticks at it and hanging wet gumboots on its ears walking sticks at it and hanging wet gumboots on its ears but it didn't mind in the least but it didn't mind in the least the man fork would sometimes chop firewood on its zigzag tail the man fork would sometimes chop firewood on its zigzag tail and the ladies weaving group open spun ship wool on its spikes and the ladies weaving group often spun ship wool on its spikes then often on a cool night when the children were peacefully asleep often on a cool night when the children were peacefully asleep the grown ups would sit with mugs of steaming cocoa the grown ups would sit with mugs of steaming cocoa then the stories about how the dragon got that began then the stories about how the dragon got that began now let's read meanings clamber climb with difficulty clamber climb with difficulty gumboots long rubber or plastic boots gumboots long rubber or plastic boots cocoa a hot drink made from cocoa powder sugar and milk cocoa a hot drink made from cocoa powder sugar and milk now let's read the next paragraph that is nobody knew for sure nobody knew for sure there were many different versions depending on which family told the tale there were many different versions depending on which family told the tale but one thing that everybody agreed on was this but one thing that everybody agreed on was this in times of trouble the dragon will wake and free the village by making a lake in times of trouble the dragon will wake and free the village by making a lake the little poem was etched into everybody's minds and sometimes appeared on janma's embroidery this little poem was etched into everybody's minds and sometimes appeared on janma's embroidery the days went by slowly the days 
went by slowly without any rain without any rain the valley turned browner and drier and thirstier every hot baking day the valley turned browner and drier and thirstier every hot baking day now let's read the next paragraph the townsfolk grew worried the townsfolk grew worried they would look upwards searching for rain clouds in the blue clear sky but none ever came they would look upwards searching for rain clouds in the blue clear sky but none ever came the tale of the dragon cannot be true said old mrs gravisel the shopkeeper the tale of the dragon cannot be true said old mrs gravisel the shopkeeper it hasn't moved an inch replied her customer tapping an angry foot it hasn't moved an inch replied her customer tapping an angry foot it was now too hot for the children to play out in the direct sun and they would gather under the shade of the trees it was now too hot for the children to play out in the direct sun and they would gather under the shade of the trees the dragon will help us soon said one child the dragon will help us soon said one child he must do something agreed another he must do something agreed another i'm sure he will i'm sure he will they all nodded in agreement they all nodded in agreement now the next paragraph a week went by with no change a week went by with no change some of the people were getting angry at the dragon and would cast angry looks at it when passing some of the people were getting angry at the dragon and would cast angry looks at it when passing meanwhile the children had a plan meanwhile the children had a plan quickly and quietly they moved around the town picking and plucking at the fading flowers quickly and quietly they moved around the town picking and plucking at the fading flowers with outstretched arms and bouquets up to the chains they rustled over to where the giant rock lay as still as ever with outstretched 
arms and bouquets up to their chins they rested over to where the giant rock lay as still as ever the boys and girls placed bunches of flowers around the dragon in a big circle the boys and girls placed bunches of flowers around the dragon in a big circle they scattered petals around its head and over its nose then danced around and around it skipping and chanting the rhyme that they all knew so well they scattered petals around its head and over its nose then danced around and around it skipping and chanting the rhyme that they all knew so well now let's read the meanings etched means here the people remembered the poem very clearly rustled moved quickly and energetically rustled moved quickly and energetically chanting means here singing the rhyme chanting means here singing the rhyme now next this is the image which is given in your textbook see here children are singing the rhyme and spreading the petals means flower leaves then in times of trouble the dragon will wake and save the village by making a lake in times of trouble the dragon will wake and save the village by making a lake the severe heat made them dizzy the severe heat made them dizzy and finally they all fell in a sprawling heap at the bottom of the mound and finally they all fell in a sprawling heap at the bottom of the mound they looked up at the rock they looked up at the rock nothing happened nothing happened a dry wind lazily picked up some flower heads and swirled them around a dry wind lazily picked up some flower heads and swirled them around the air was thick with pollen and perfume the air was thick with pollen and perfume a stony gray nostril twitched a stony gray nostril twitched I saw something cried the youngest boy I saw something cried the youngest boy they stared intentionally they stared intentionally and ear swelled like a periscope and ear swelled like a periscope the ground began to rumble the ground began to rumble look out run run look out run 
run now let's read the meanings dizzy means feeling as if the things around are spinning dizzy means feeling as if the things around are spinning then sprawling sprawling means sitting or lying spread out sprawling means sitting or lying spread out mound 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 means a small hill usually made by people a small hill usually made by people pollen a fine powdery substance that flowers produce pollen a fine powdery substance that flowers produce twitched made a sudden short movement twitched made a sudden short movement intentionally with great attention intentionally with great attention swiped turned around a point swiped turned around a point periscope a long tube containing a set of mirrors that gives a view of what is above a long tube containing a set of mirrors that gives a view of what is above then rumble rumble means make a continuous deep sound rumble means make a continuous deep sound now let's read the next paragraph that is the children scampered in all directions shrieking and squealing waving their arms in excitement the children scampered in all directions shrieking and squealing waving their arms in excitement the rumbling grew and grew the rumbling grew and grew the dragon raised its sleepy head the dragon raised its sleepy head it sat like a dog it sat like a dog it stood up and stretched arcing its long scaly back like a tabby cat it blinked and looked around with big kind long lashed eyes it blinked and looked around with big kind long lashed eyes and then its nostrils twitched again and then its nostrils twitched again the older folk were alerted by the screams and shrieks the older folk were alerted by the screams and shrieks the ladies held up their long skirts to run and the men rolled their sleeves up and soon the whole town stood together in a tight huddle at the foot of the hill staring up at the large beast with mouths held open the ladies held up their long skirts to run and the men rolled their sleeves up and soon the whole town stood together in a tight huddle 
at the foot of the hill, staring up at the large beast with mouths held open. Now, next paragraph. Ah ha ha! The noise erupted from the dragon. Ah ha ha! The noise erupted from the dragon. Ah ha! The families gripped each other tighter and shut their eyes. Ah ha! The families gripped each other tighter and shut their eyes. Then ah chu! Ah chu! The sneeze blasted from the dragon like a rocket, throwing it back fifty paces. Causing a whirlwind of dust and dirt. The sneeze blasted from the dragon like a rocket, throwing it back fifty paces, causing a whirlwind of dust and dirt. Ah, choo! Then next paragraph is the second blast split open the dry earth. Sending explosions of soil and tree roots high into the sky, like missiles and something else too. The second blast split open the dry earth, sending explosions of soil and tree roots high into the sky, like missiles and something else too. The people heard the sound but couldn't recognize it at first. The people heard the sound but couldn't recognize it at first. As their eyes widened in wonder, their smiles turned into greens and then yahoos and hoorays. As their eyes widened in wonder, their smiles turned into greens and then yahoos and hoorays. Water, cold, clear spring water, oozed, then trickled, then roared out of the hole, down the hillside and along the valley floor. Water, cold, clear spring water, oozed, then trickled, then roared out of the hole down the hillside and along the valley floor. Now, next paragraph. The torrent knocked over a farmer's haystack, but he didn't care. The river carried away the school teacher's bike shed, but she did not care a hoop. When the flood sent pools of water, out towards the golf course, filling up 16 of the 19 holes, the man just hooted and whistled. What used to be a dirty brown dust bowl now gleamed and glistened in the sunlight, sending playful waves and ripples across the lake. Now I'm reading meanings. Scampered means Ran away quickly, tabby, a grey or brownish cat, huddle, a close group, missile, a weapon that explodes on meeting its target, torrent, a fast moving stream of water, not care a hoop means not care at all. Now, last paragraph. Hmm. Sighed the dragon sleepily. Now that I am awake, he lumbered forward with surprising grace and style and disappeared into the cool dark water with a small wave of a claw and a flick of his tail. They never saw him again. Every year to mark the occasion, the people would bring garlands of flowers and arrange them in a big circle. The children would have the day off, for it was known as the Water Dragon Day. 
they would wear dragon mask and skip clap and sing the dragon helped us as we said he would do hooray for the dragon achu 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 this story is adapted from alina ashley's short stories by the same name so my dear students i hope you enjoyed today's session and regarding today's session if you are having any doubts feel free to message me on my number we will meet in the next session with the fair book notes of lesson number 6 the dragon rock so till then take care of yourself bye bye